What's up, everybody? Um, <clears throat> I felt led to make a podcast and a uh, YouTube video. So uh, this is uh, Rugged and Manly Lovely and Sweet. Um, <clears throat> July 6, 2021. Uh, there's been a scripture verse really just kind of swarming around in my heart uh, the past I'd say for the past week, pretty strong. Um, and I wanted to read from the book of James, chapter four. And it says, verse one, where do the wars and where do conflicts among you come from? Is it not from your passions that make war within your members? You covet, but do not possess. You kill and envy, but you cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask, but do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it. Or your passions, adulterers, do not know that to be a lover of the world means enmity with God. Therefore, whoever wants to be a lover of the world makes himself an enemy of God. And I say this because uh, recently I was uh, at work and, uh, you know, there's it's a different climate there. I'll just put it like that. Um you know, most of them are not Christian in any way, shape, or form, right? They're more kind of the LBGTQ uh, agenda, all that kind of stuff. Um, and this guy was telling me, uh, how you doing, Miss Kim? This guy was telling me uh, uh, that, you know, he had this woman who was, uh, his girlfriend was bisexual and this and that, and I was perfectly healthy and normal and uh you know i told him i said look man sin is sin whether uh you know it's fornication and i said there are different levels of sin and um uh, or so, some and, and he kind of cut me off and you know just kind of people make it sound like i'm a fool or for whatever for what i believe uh, even though when you ask them what they believe, right, it's it's pretty foolish. You know, it's like, what do you believe in? Well, I believe in the universe. And what made you come to that conclusion? Well, there's energy out there. Okay, what well, created that energy? I don't know what created that energy. Okay, well, maybe there's a creator called God. But anyway, it's a different story. But um, I went home that night and I just, just kind of prayed, right? I just kind of prayed and sought the Lord and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I really felt the the Lord say to me, you know, you are my friend, you are my friend, and uh, I got to thinking, like, why, why am I feeling this so strong, he's calling me a friend right now, and, you know, Paul, he said, I resolved to know Christ, and nothing but him crucified, right, and the more I walk with the Lord, the more I realize, you know, how little the things of the world matter, right, like, how little, how temporary this life is, how the things we want and, and all those kinds of things is just it's just fleeting it's passing away right and so it is uh, being a friend of the world right it, it has no eternal profit and when i make a decision to be a friend of jesus what i realized he was saying to me is you're, i'm inviting you into my suffering i'm inviting you into my rejection i'm inviting you into the the pains that i went through the uh the uh, uh humiliation that i went through the torments that i went through not that i've been torment on the level of Jesus, but, uh, you know, it can be a very lonely road. Sometimes it can, it can be a road where you want to connect with people. You want to talk about the Lord with people, but they're just not there. They don't want to, uh, do that. Right. And, um, it's just interesting that the Lord would say to me, you know, you were my friend, you know, in, in such a moment, but it's really exactly what I needed to hear. And I started thinking more and more, you know, friendship with it makes you an enemy of the world the same way that friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God. And uh, Jesus said it. He said, I no longer call you servants, but I, I slaves because because a slave does not know what the master is doing. But I call you friends because the master has told his friends everything. So a friend who is, is one who hears the secrets of the kings, he hears the heartbeat of the king. He, he experiences the love of the king. And in the meantime, the world rejects him. The world does not appreciate um, his friendship with God, right? It's, it's, uh, it can be scorned. Um, 
not that anything I went through was that intense, but uh, just just feeling that disconnection, you know, that uh, that rejection. Uh, not not that it really bothered me, but the Lord was showing me something. You know, every day I have to wake up, make a decision to choose friendship with God again, right? And that can look like like today I went to Office Depot and and uh, while I was driving, there's a young man I saw. I felt like that's the guy I wanted to talk to, right? And uh, this is as I was driving, right, pulling up. I went to Staples. I went to Staples, and uh, I, I pull over, park, go inside, and that young man that I, my heart went out to was right there, right? He was inside the Staples working. Like this is interesting, and, and you know, the flesh says, "Oh, don't go there. Don't bring it up. They might get mad." And and that's an opportunity to make allegiance with the world, to bow to the world and its standards, right? But in my heart, I resolved, I said, I'm going to speak the word of the Lord to this man. This is not an accident to be in the same store. And, and I shared some of the gospel with him. I said, young man, I want to tell you. Uh, I want to tell you that. Uh, um, you know, that I used to be a drug addict and I told him some of my testimony and uh, he was like, wow. And I said, you know, Jesus loves you. He has a plan for your life. And I said, I felt this tell you this strong, you know, growing up, all I heard was, uh, you know, Jesus died for you. Don't you feel guilty about it? And then I realized Jesus died uh, not just to forgive my sin, but to reveal how valuable I was to the father. Right. I was he was marred beyond recognition. Jesus was marred beyond recognition so I could be restored to, to sonship and fellowship with God. So I could be because I was unrecognizable to my original purpose and call. And he received it amazing, you know, and uh, the guy he was working with too, both of them just really received it. They thanked me. They're like, dude, thank you so much, man. Keep it up. They said, he actually said, uh, get it on, which, which, which actually shocked me because that's in my mind and stuff. I think about this, get it on, man. let's do this. But uh, yeah, man, I just, I want to challenge every person listening to this right now, this podcast or this YouTube video. Uh, just every day resolve in your heart to be a friend of God, no matter what it costs you. You know, if the whole world says that, good is evil and evil is good, you know, or, or, and I believe we're rendering into a season where it's going to be on a higher and higher level, right? Where, uh, people are more and more against, you know, uh, some of the moralities, sexual moralities that Christianity professes and moralities, sexual moralities that Christianity professes and they're going to want about LBGTQ agendas and, you know, say fornication is normal and, you know, it's trash. And um, I won't, I won't bow, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't hate anybody. I'm not against anybody. I'm not mad at anybody, but I'm not gonna call good evil. And I'm not gonna call evil good. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand with the decisions of Jesus Christ. And, you know, Jesus said, he said, whoever is ashamed of me and my teachings will be, uh, I will be ashamed of them in and my teachings, I'll profess him in front of my father in heaven. And uh, to those of you who are unashamed, let this just sit in your heart right now. Jesus is eager to profess you before the father. And uh, there is no higher honor than that in eternity to be professed before the father by the son of God, by God himself became man. The God man for the God man to profess you to his own father and the angels and the saints in heaven. It's amazing. So I just want to pray for every person on here. Just uh, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. God, I thank you that you're calling your friends. God, you're calling friends to your heart. Lord Jesus, I pray every person, Lord, watching this video, Lord, that they would enter in a deeper level of friendship with you, God. A deeper level of intimacy, God, a deeper level of courage. And God, every day we resolve in our hearts to say, I'll be a friend of God no matter what it costs me. I will stand for truth if it costs me my life. The book of Sirach talks about that. It says, if it costs you your life, stand for truth. And Lord Jesus, you are truth itself, Lord, and we want to follow you all the days of our life. So, Father, I just thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that we will follow you, God, if it costs us everything. And I bless you in Jesus' name. I bless, I mean, I bless you, Lord, and I bless every person watching this in Jesus' name. In your name, I pray, amen, in the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.